All right, I want to talk about a quarter wave stub. What does it mean to be a quarter wave stub? What's magical about a quarter wave? So let's start with some fundamentals first. I'm going to set this up on the oscilloscope. I'm going to have a, a generator here. So we're going to have a, a sine wave generator and it's going to come into a splitter, a T splitter. And uh, there'll be a short cable and a long cable, both of them terminated with 50 ohms. And uh, we'll put that here up on the scope. And I think you can see that we have uh, two sine waves and they're separated by some distance. Well, why are they separated in phase or separated in distance? And that's because it takes uh, the speed of light longer to go this direction, right? This is a short path and this is a long path. So there's going to be a delay. The delay between when, when the oscilloscope gets to see this one and when the oscilloscope gets to see this one because this, this wire is longer. This is channel A, this is channel 2, or channel A, channel B. Is what they march on the scope their channel mark channel channel one channel two all right so this one's going to get to the oscilloscope first and then it'll take some time and then this one will get to the oscilloscope and we can see that there is a delay here and it's about 17 nanoseconds okay for this uh for this uh little length of uh little length of wire here okay we get about 17 17 nanoseconds okay that's 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 just fine so let's uh uh let's look at our generator our generator is at uh, uh, oops, is at uh, 6 point, 6.8 megahertz. Uh, let's go ahead and bump that up here to uh, to some higher frequency. Let's go up all the way, 25 megahertz. Okay, so now uh, it's delayed quite a bit, but if you look at the uh, delay between the two, it, it it's actually always 17 17 nanoseconds because that's the length of the wire. Okay. And so um, the only thing different here is the shape of the wigglies, right? These are faster wigglies and those are slower wigglies. And so uh, these are kind of bunched up because, because they're faster, right? And if we, if we slow it way down again, then they kind of get spaced out again. But they always stay 17 nanoseconds apart, always, right? Because that's the length of the wire. All right. So now we're going to do some funny business here, okay? We're going to go back out to our, uh, we better go back way out. Let's go to, uh, oh, I don't know. Let's go here to five megahertz. Okay. Go here to five megahertz now. Okay. So right now we have a 50 ohm resistor here and the radio wave comes out and it goes into the 50 ohms and it's all nice and happy. But what if we remove the 50 ohms? It's going to reflect back. Okay. And it's going to go all the way back. It's going to go all the way back. And it's going to go right through this T and it's going to go, it's going to come back and it's going to go through that 50 ohms. And so, uh, whatever used to come over here, is going to come back in over here to this channel one. Okay. Channel two is still going to be hooked up, but it's high, high, very high impedance. And so it won't affect anything. It'll just be spying on it. Um, it'll reflect back in and uh, come back to channel one. Okay. If we remove the 50 ohms. All right. So let's do that. Uh, Come over here. I will remove the 50 ohms. And there we go. Okay. And so now, so now what we're seeing is channel one looks a little funnier. I don't know why channel one looks funnier. So let's go up in frequency. Okay. We'll go up in frequency and look at that. Channel one is going down. Why is channel one going down? And then let's go even further. Okay. Let's go further. Here's eight megahertz, nine megahertz. Look, it's getting smaller. It's getting smaller. It's getting smaller. Look at that. Right about, right about there. It kind of disappears. 11 megahertz. Well, what the hell's going on? Sorry. What the heck's going on? <laughs> um, well, if you have, one sine wave that looks like this and you have another sine wave that looks like this and you add those two sine waves together you get this okay so if the, the delay causes the other wave to come back at exactly 180 degrees out of phase it'll cancel things out and then this channel a will go to zero okay so is that really here? What's happening? Is it really 180 degrees? Okay. Well, 
let's put our uh, let's put our load back on our 50 ohms and let's look at the phase. Okay, and look at the phase between the two. You go. Well, that's not 180 degrees. That's not 180 degrees. Well, wait a minute. We're measuring here, and that picture looks like it's about 90 degrees. So if it's 90 degrees in this direction, it reflects back. So actually the wire is twice as long as what channel B sees, right? It goes here and then it goes back, so it's twice as long. So if it's 90 degrees out of phase and it has to have a return path, it's going to be 180 degrees out of phase by the time it gets all the way back to channel, to channel 1, okay? And so from here to here, when it's 90 degrees out of phase measured here, it'll be 180 degrees when it's measured here. Okay? What's 90 degrees? That's a quarter wave. Okay? So one, one length is 90 degrees phase is a quarter wave, but it reflects and comes back so it ends up being a half wave total. All right? And that's why it cancels out. And that's why we say that a 90 degree or quarter wave stub looks like a short. Okay? Well, we just saw that, right? We just saw that when we remove the, the 50 ohm load, channel one goes to zero. Well, that's like having a short there, right? Um, and uh, we can dial it in even a little more accurate here and try to get rid of channel one altogether. There we go. Look at that. We can just we can just dial it out. And it just goes away, right? And so we put our load back on. It comes back. Um, yeah, it's very very cool. All right. So it looks like around 12 megahertz is where uh, we get a cancellation, right? And so we know that at 12 megahertz, the spacing ends up being the phase ends up being this 90 degrees. And so we could do a bunch of math. We could say, okay, we know it's 12 megahertz, okay? And we know that 12 megahertz is, for 360 degrees is one over 12 megahertz. That tells you how, how long this takes. And then you can use the speed of light and you can measure the distance. And then you can say, oh, wait a minute. No, there's actually a velocity factor in the cable and you can calculate that and everything. And that'll tell you exactly the length of the wire. Um, now, we're not doing any of that here. This is just a demonstration that when it comes back in at 90 degrees, that's actually 180 degrees total, and you get this uh, sine wave on top of a sine wave, and they collapse to zero. It looks like it's shorted out. So quarter wave, short, quarter wave step.